Hi, ho, guys and gals, it's Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear, back again here in the old den of tools. And today, yeah, it's been a long time coming, but we got it in house. We got the new Bauer brushless drill, as well as the Bauer 5 amp hour battery. We're going to be doing a shootout between the old classic Bauer brush drill and also we're going to be testing the new brushless with the old 3 amp battery and the new 5 amp hour battery. So let's jump into it, see what we got, and see what they can do. First up, we got the standard Bauer with the 5 amp versus the new brushless with the 5 amp. <laughs> Good grief. Okay, now let's see a best case of the run. We're going to take the best of the best of each one and do a direct head-to-head -head comparison. As you can see, there is a difference, but it's marginal. So let's see now what we get when we throw in a larger uh, drill bit on here. This is a gear wrench drill bit. This is the largest that came in the set. And here you can see the two batteries side by side or one on top of each other. The 5 amp hour battery is actually, as far as the old case, is actually slightly slimmer. But then I haven't had a chance to compare it versus the new 3 amp hour in their new slimmer case. But let's see if we get any benefit from stepping up to that 5 amp hour battery. So we're going to have the 3 amp in the brushless drill versus the 5 amp hour battery in the brushless drill. <laughs> And now let's see a best case with these two head to head, see which one's faster. And there, as you can see, just, just, just a slight margin there. Well, there you go. That's the new Bauer brushless versus the brush. Now, what about the cost? Well, for tool only, you're looking at $50 for the new brushless, but the brushed limited time only because it looks like they're clearing it out it's going away has a clearance price of 33.97 34 dollars you're looking at a difference of about 16 dollars to go with the uh, the brushed over the or the brushless over the brushed now that said what other differences well size and shape they're almost they're almost indiscernible I mean, if you look close you can clearly see i mean one does say brushless there's a little bit difference in the striping the the base on this is a little bit bigger. Uh, the chuck on this one seems to come up a little bit shallower. Uh, and I will say the, I will say the brushless felt a little bit more ergonomic in the paw. If you've got the brushed tool, I wouldn't even say it's enough to to switch as, as far as I'm concerned. You know, performance and everything else. But do I like seeing it going forward? Yes. Your biggest win where that brushless is going to really get you something is when you're doing higher capacity jobs, but specifically battery life. A brushless tool is going to use less battery, make the battery last longer, which means it's going to last longer on the job and it's going to last longer in real life because longer battery use means less recharges, it means that battery is going to be around a lot longer. Now the 3 amp hour battery these days is selling for 45 this one's selling for 60 You're looking at a difference of $15 to jump up to that 5 amp hour capacity. You know, you make the call on whether you feel that's necessary. I can tell you though, that based on these, I doubt if I would be switching back to 3 amp hour batteries after using the 5s. Now, what does this do for Bauer? Well, Bauer now has, look at this, these are all the brushless tools that Bauer now has. They have the new imp, uh, impact driver, we've got the uh, the drill driver, we've got the grinder, we got the multi-tool, you got the SDS rotary hammer, you got a router, you get a one-hand recip, uh, we got the full recip, the mud mixer, just full disclosure by the way, Harbor Freight did send me this, this tool, also they sent me the mud mixer. I have no idea why because I got to tell you, I hate doing like drywall and stuff. But anyway, I got one. I'll have to figure out a use for it. Maybe I can like rig a prop on it, use it on a John boat or something. And, and of course, they have the air compressor too. But that gives them now a good solid. This At this point, I would declare them a true, a real power tool lineup because you've got 
all the tools combined with all the regular brushed tools that they have, you now have a full lineup of tools. They are a legitimate lineup to compete with anybody else out there. They've really proven themselves for the DIY to prosumer market. You know, they've been taking on the, the likes of Ryobi, uh, even challenging some of the bigger names that are out there. Uh, poor Cable went running, you know, whimpering over to, to Tractor Supply because they couldn't keep up with them. A kid, a kid, the bear kids. Anyway, let me know what you think. Are there any other tests you want the bear to do there? Honestly, I got to tell you, I, it's it's maybe not as much as, as I would have wanted from them. I was hoping for something that would really just jump up and, and be exciting and cool. But just the extended battery life alone, it makes it worth, you know, work, makes it worth having in the, in the old toolbox. I'm going to have to dig out, though, my Ryobi HP and see if it comes to that level of a tool. I don't know if it's going to compete with the Ryobi HP, but let's see. Stay tuned for that. We're going to have more tests, more heads-to-heads -heads and stuff like that coming up soon. Anyway, that's all the bear has for you today. You all take care, God bless, and as always, shine on.